Voice Memo Animation. So falling up the stairs is meant to be good luck. So after you come out of the hospital with two broken arms and paying a massive bill, is that when you go play the lottery? I find it interesting how some last names are derived from what people did. For example, the last name Cook or Fisher. So would mine be O recording himself, car, making a horrible animation out of it? Some musicians amaze me. They can see something on the side of a road like a bottle cap and be inspired to write a song that connects to people all across the world. But what happens if that person hadn't littered? Voice memo animation. I was always a little bit superstitious, but it wasn't until I met my wife and learned about the magpie. If you see one, just wave it away, wave its sorrows. I mean, that's great until you see a couple making out by the tree. I came across a couple of bathrooms recently where the toilet paper dispenser were giving out individual sheets of toilet paper. They were so small. This could be the downfall of mankind. Voice memo animation. Heading up to get the coffee now. Hopefully my uh, voice doesn't crack. Excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> voice memo animation. Anybody that willingly sits next to the bathroom on a coach bus is uh, psychotic. It's It's almost like they're just looking for torture. I think there's a reason why parking around hospitals so bad. A lot of stress and anxiety with going into a hospital, so the idea of getting really frustrated with trying to find a parking spot is just kind of a distraction. I gotta say, hanger is a crazy thing when you're hungry and you get angry at the same time. You go from wanting to put your fist through a wall to taking a bite of a banana and wanting to donate all your money to charity. Voice memo animation Fingernails are so interesting. You have them cut at a certain length, then all of a sudden one day they grow out of nowhere and you're like Wolverine. It's so awkward to shake people's hands. Voice memo animation. The shirt tuck thing is really hard, just kind of trying to keep it tucked in. And I find even on a day where, you know, doing really well, you're talking to people and everything seems to be going smooth, that's the most frustrating because then you go look in the mirror and you're like, oh, I guess it looks kind of unprofessional. Like, I mean, somebody could have a cure for a virus. It's legit. It's going to work. He gives an amazing bowing speech. Then he comes off the podium. You see that his shirt's untucked. You're doubting it. Will it cure it? Hey, guys, hang on. Where do you get the uh, wolf, wolf, wolf uh, food? Is it a... Uh, oh, dog food. Oh, yeah. We have all of that. Oh, is it all down here? Yeah. Oh, oh, great. Yeah. Cool, thanks. Voice memo animation. I always felt bad for the plumbers because the plumber's crack was, was named after them. I mean, it happens in, in almost every profession. Like, I'm, I'm sure there's a, a barber's crack or an astronaut's crack. Voice memo animation. I find myself recommending film or TV shows that I've only half watched. It's almost like telling somebody about a restaurant because they have great bread and butter. Voice memo animation. I remember one time I was on a flight and the flight attendant came over and asked the woman in front of me, chicken or beef? And she said, yes. I still wonder to this day, did she not hear her or did she want both chicken and beef? Voice memo animation. Tiredness is a killer. This morning I, I blessed myself going past a, a speed van. Maybe deep down I was hoping that nobody would get caught. Now the beauty of making a bad first impression, for example, if you happen to have bad breath that day, the next time you meet that person, you have free reign of bad breath. You can put whatever you want, have eaten whatever you want. It was always nice when you were younger and you'd see people, friends of the family, and they'd always pay you a nice compliment like you're, you're growing so tall. Then you get to around 18 and metabolism starts to slow down and discover food and on the couch and becomes awkward. You don't know what to say. Voice memo animation. 
it's nice to be able to help somebody when you're standing next to them and they might have dropped, say, their their credit card. But it gets really awkward when you see something next to them that you know clearly isn't theirs, like a like a boot. Voice memo animation. So what is the cutoff for Happy New Year's? I find myself doing the whole month of January, a lot of February, but I also find those situations where you're running into somebody say that you haven't seen in 10 years. It's really awkward. It's like, where do we begin, you know? Where do we begin to, to catch up? Like, am I like, you know, how was your summer 2015? I find myself sometimes turning on the wipers just to clear some water off the windscreen and then keep driving and they're still going the whole time. That's kind of like running a sink because you see some dirt and just leaving it all day. I love when you have a fresh piece of clothing, like a shirt, you know, that you just bought. You know, you're walking around in it and people are looking like people are uh, taking notice. And then you get home and you see that the tags and the stickers were still all left on it. Wait, so all those people weren't admiring my new shirt. They were admiring how much of a thief I am. They say there's no such thing as bad publicity and there definitely is some truth to that. I'm a huge fan of the Big Mac meal at McDonald's and I remember watching that documentary where the guy would eat that for every meal for 30 days and by the end of it I was starving and the next time I went to McDonald's you know I'll add a hamburger and a six-piece nuggets. It seems like hotel check-ins get later and later as years go on. Hotel checkouts get earlier. What's the future going to be like? Are we just going to go in and hand them some money and leave? Voice memo animation. So somebody that likes to go up into the attic a lot, are they like an attic attic? Voice memo animation. Sometimes when you're falling asleep on the couch, you think to yourself, it's a good idea to, to go upstairs and go to bed, lay down, but you get up there and for some reason you can't get back to sleep, you can't get that same tiredness you had on the couch. I wonder why they don't just have like a mattress underneath the couch where you can just slide it out and just fall on it. You know what's frustrating is when you go to write a card for somebody and you're writing and you want to keep it nice and neat, big letters, big print, spaced out beautifully and you start to realize you're running out of room. So then you're slowly tightening up the words and it's just, it looks all like... Like one squiggly line at the end. I mean, somebody could be up there giving the the speech of a lifetime. And then somebody's like, yeah, you know, you only got like 30 seconds. You know, it's amazing. Nowadays, you can drive around talking to yourself in the car. You're driving on your own. And it's seen as almost normal. It's like, you know, you're probably on the the Bluetooth right now or, or talking on the phone to somebody. Whereas a few years back, you're driving around on your own. You're talking to yourself. You're probably going to be locked up. Voice memo animation. It's interesting when you walk into a room after somebody's been there. There's that lovely smell of soap and just fresh smell. I always wonder when I leave a room what what smell is left, like coffee and hamburgers. I always wonder why I like to take off my watch and smell my wrist. Is it because it reminds me of salt and vinegar potato chips? I find it almost impossible to open those milk creamers and not spill a drop out of it. What if that was the same thing for medicine? Oh, this is missing a, just a little bit of penicillin, but uh, you should be okay. Voice memo animation.